Ready, hun? I'll set my love. Please envelop this entity so completely in love that all needs, wants, and desires are chosen. Mm. And greetings. Greetings, wonders. Greetings, Maggie. Would you please go to whom, to where, and to when you are directed? Would you please locate your facilitator, Maggie McGoffin Gaudet, on May 28th, 2007? Mm. Yes, we have you. We are gathered here at 8361 11th Line, our number two in the town of Thornton in the province of Ontario, to do a reading for the Wonders Hour radio show. May we begin? Please. Thank you, Wonders. Um, I have a question. Good for you. Yes. A whole question. <laughs> a whole question. A whole question. Yes. Well, it's, it starts out very short. <laughs> mm, not even a half question. <laughs> A question. Yes. Hmm, I have a question. <laughs> Does that mean you're looking for an answer or a different answer? Um, a different answer. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. It'll be an interesting question then. Yeah. Because I have, I have an answer I'm not sure is very complete. Then why don't you give us the answer? Mm hmm. And then we'll give you the question. <laughs> Maybe I should give you the question first. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, what is enlightenment? Hmm. We prefer the answer. Oh, okay. Hmm. What's your answer? What do you think it is? Um, I think it is uh, an awareness, um, a knowingness of, of who I am, of my connection to everything. But I also think it might be just a word that I use to, um, to say that. Okay. Not bad. Okay. Mm, pretty good. Okay. On a scale of 1 to 10, where 10 is the perfect answer and 1 is the not-so-perfect answer? Hmm. Well, then there is no perfect answer, so there's no 10. <laughs> that means there's no 1. Right. So then what do you do in between? <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. Is enlightenment then knowing that there is no 10 and no 1? Yes. Hmm. So that means that when you count, you go from 2 to 9. Never 10, never 1. Hmm. <laughs> What do you do then? Does that mean that you add one? If you add one to two and make it three, then and there is no one, how do you get this from two to three? And if there is no ten, how do you go from three to thirty? Do you think? Mm hmm. Hmm. Questions to ponder, isn't it? Yes. Difficult, aren't they? Yeah. It sounds mm. a little complicated all of a sudden. Doesn't it? Yeah. Hmm. And enlightenment, of course, is very much that which you yourselves uh, love to complicate. Mm -hmm. You love the concept of complication. So to you, enlightenment is a different complication, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm. If only I was enlightened, I would have a better complication of the complication that is complicated, so that, that way all complications would be complicated and complicated <laughs> before. Right. Did you get that? <laughs> yeah. No, that, see, you would be enlightened if you understood all that. Exactly. Mm. Sounds like it's something that always happens in the future, too, as mm. you were talking. It uh, did, didn't it? Yeah, anticipation. Mm. When I become enlightened. Yes. Mm -hmm. Something to strive for. Yeah. Based on the judgment of the present. Mm hmm. Mm. What if we said to you that enlightenment is nothing more than what you've been working towards? Mm -hmm. Which is what? Which is knowing myself. Mm, nope. Um, no, you don't. Do, 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 do. Huh? You know yourself already. <clears throat> oh. Mm, you're a number one or a number ten, but you're not a two to a nine. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Hmm. See, now we're putting you on the spot, aren't we? Mm -hmm. We're playing with you. We're having fun, aren't we? Yeah. Well, this is good. This is interesting. Let's have a good time. Well, let's see. Where is enlightenment? End of the enlightenment. Oh, is it under number nine? Ooh. Is it under uh, number eight? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I see a tail sticking out of number seven. Oh, maybe it's there. Oh, no, no, it's not under number seven. Oh, where did enlightenment go? Where did enlightenment go? Did it go down the whole tube? Oh, maybe it went down the hole. Oh, hey, there's number three. Let's quit. Oh, no, it's not under number three. Oh, number five. No, there's number two. Oh, no, number. There's no number one. There's no number ten. Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? No, where's enlightenment? Where's enlightenment? Yeah, I see. So if, if I say enlightenment is something I'm working towards, then it's still just a complication of my mind and my definitions of what I'm doing? Hmm. Well, are you asking? <laughs> yes. You want a different answer again? No, no. Oh, okay. Well, this, it, is it number 12? Oh, <laughs> we've gone over number 10, right over to number 12. How did we get to number 12? Oh. 
we jump from number nine to number 12, maybe number now, maybe number seven, number, number seven to number 12, number 12 to number seven, number seven to number 12, number seven, 12 to number seven. Oh, maybe we went to a five, maybe we went to a nine, maybe we went to a two, maybe we went to a four, maybe we went to a six, maybe we went to a 12. <sighs> How do we get there anyways? I don't know. I think I know it's, um, I'm confused, so that's what my definition of enlightenment is. Mm. How do we get to number 12? Um, you just made it up, because we were going to stop at number 10, I think. No, there is no number 10. How can we stop at number 10? <laughs> There's no number 10. There's only a number 9. There's I... only, there was no number 10. There was, no, there was a number 2, number 3, number 4, number 5, number 6, number 7, number 8, number 9. There was no number 10. We know that. Number 10 didn't exist. Number 1 didn't exist. There was no perfection, no, no absolute in, imperfection. So therefore, it's only a 2 <laughs> to a 9. How do we go from number 9 to number 12? How do we get to number 12? We went back from number 12 to number 7, number 7 to number 12, number 12 to number 7, number 7 to number 12. How do we go from number 12 to number 7? How do we go from number 7 to number 12? How do we go to a 9? How do we go to a 5? How do we go to a 4? How do we go to a 3? How do we go to a 12? Hmm. Um, you just made it. You created it. Hmm. Close. Okay. You visualized it? Hmm. Ah. Mm. <laughs> ah. Two, four, five, nine, four, five, two, four, number four, number four, number five, 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 number nineteen, number four, number five, number five, number five, number five, number nineteen, number nineteen, number 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 seventeen, number nineteen, number nineteen, number twenty two. How did twenty two come about? Hmm. Um, it's a perspective. Hmm. <laughs> I know. I hmm. don't know wonders. How did it come about? Choice! Okay, choice. Of course. That was simple. Boy, uh, did I ever try to complicate it. Hmm, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. So was enlightenment. Choice. Hmm. What kind of choice? Hmm. Hmm. Number five, number four, number five, number four, number nine, number twelve, number four, number five, number five, number twelve, number four, number four, number four, number nineteen, number three, three, thirty-three. How did that come about? Choice. What kind of choice? Uh, choice to. Free choice. Oh, free choice. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Whoa, yeah. you're having a hard time today. I'm having a very hard time. Goodness. Free choice. Mm-hmm. Why? Because you didn't have to pay for it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> didn't pay, didn't pay, didn't pay. No, she didn't pay, didn't pay. No, oh, she didn't pay, didn't pay, didn't pay. Number two, number four, number five, number nine, number two, number four, number five, number nine, number 19, number two, number, two, number 22, number 27. How did 27 come about? Free choice. Ah, and you didn't even pay. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Free choice. Yeah, of course. Wow. What's enlightenment? So enlightenment would be free choice. Hmm. Choosing freely. There's a concept. Mm -hmm. Simple, wasn't it? Yeah, very. Took a long time, though. Yeah, but I sure complicated it. Of course you did. Because, you see, you're like everybody else. Mm -hmm. You want enlightenment to be the unattainable, the unachievable, that which you can never, ever truly gain as long as you spend your whole life studying. Mm -hmm. Buddha. Mm, did he achieve enlightenment? <gasps> he transcended into the next dimension of reality. Well, actually, he died. <laughs> mm, Nazarene. Oh, oh, he transcended into the next reality of dimensions of reality. Oh, well, actually, he died. Mm -mm -mm. Mm hmm. Muhammad. Oh, he transcended into the next reaction, then a dimension of reality. Well, actually, he died. Mm -hmm. So. Is enlightenment what you set up yourself up to be? In other words, isn't that what you do? Is you create the unattainable, the unachievable, the most complicated aspect of existence, call it simplicity, and then mm, try to achieve it? Mm -hmm. So think about it. What is enlightenment? Enlightenment, based on the definition of humanity, is to achieve the absolute perfection of awareness. Mm-hmm. The absolute awareness of self. We would suggest that your enlightenment is nothing more than choosing freely. Mm -hmm. Because if you choose freely, then you do know yourself. Mm -hmm. You are free choice. Yes. Hmm. Quit complicating it. 